to address. And it's our false beliefs about love that are our mistakes. I keep saying this to people. It's not a mistake to have a lack of knowledge. You, you'll become celestial spirits one day and you'll still have a lack of knowledge. You know that, surely. If, if God's eternal and, and infinite, then even when you're a celestial spirit, you're not going to know everything. You have a lack of knowledge. It's not a mistake to have a lack of knowledge. It's a mistake to have a lack of love. That's, that's the error, the lack of love. And you've got to give up this worry about what you know and you've got to start worrying more about how unloving you're being. Does that make sense? Give, a, give up this concept, oh, I need to know more, I need to know more, I need to know, know more and start accepting this concept that I need to love more. That needs to become my goal. It's, it's the lack of love inside of me that causes every mistake. From God's perspective, it's only when you're unloving that you make a mistake. You, you, you understand what I've said there? It's only when you're unloving that you made a mistake. Now, sometimes those mistakes are not mistakes. They're purposeful actions of unloving behaviour. But that, that's a mistake too from your soul perspective. To do that is a mistake. Your lack of knowledge is never a mistake. God, God has given this infinite universe so that you'll have a lack of knowledge for the rest of your existence. <laughs> and why did, it, why did God create it that way? Because God wanted to make it interesting for you. There'd all be, always be something to discover. Otherwise you'd be bored. Right? If you knew everything, you'd be bored. Right? And even God, who knows everything, is never bored because God now uses everything he knows and creates more things. So even once you do, eventually, if you ever get to the state where God, of knowing everything, by that state, you'll know so much that you'll never be bored because you do so many things. But, but God's created this infinite universe and we will continue to grow and grow and grow and grow in knowledge right? and in love. But once we make mistake. From God's definition, every mistake is whenever you're out of harmony with love. Now, many of you don't realise that the mistake you're worrying about is nothing. And the mistake you're not worrying about is everything. Because the mistake you worry about is uh, mistakes in knowledge not knowing enough or not being enough and all these kind of things. God doesn't worry about all that. God worries about how loving you are. And when I say God worries, it's not a worry, obviously. But God, all of God's laws are about helping you develop in love. You know? It's not a mistake to not know things. It's a mistake to not love. And this is where your folk group... <coughs> needs to be focused to see that the mistake is to not be loving every time you're not loving with each other you've made a mistake every time you're not loving with somebody who comes along to be healed you've made a mistake every time you're not loving with yourself you've made a mistake from God's perspective every time you had a thought that turned out to be wrong that's not a mistake that's growth from God's perspective when I say a thought that turned out to be wrong, you might have believed something. Like you might believe that, you know, everyone should have left feet. I don't know, some crazy <laughs> thing. And, and, and in the end, you learn out that, no, that's not the case. And that's fine. From God's perspective, it was never a problem in the first place. But every time you choose to act out of harmony and love, from God's perspective, that's a big problem. You break laws of the universe doing that. You can't break a law of the universe by having a thought that, that is out of harmony with truth. You can break the laws of the universe by having an action that's, and a thought that's out of harmony with love. Can you see the difference? Yeah. Thanks, guys.